Good morning. Today we are going to show some exercise for the abs. Everyone would be having problem with your stomach, belly fat and also people who are having back pain. So I will show you some exercise how to re relieve your back pain as well as to reduce your tummy. So let's start. First exercise we will be doing today is Cobra pose or Hujangasana. So we will show you how to do it with the proper alignment and poster. So this is my friend Papuri. So we'll be explaining you how to do the pose. First we'll be doing tabletop position. From there we have to do the child pose. Then we have to do caterpillar pose or eight limbed pose. From there we have to do cobra pose or hujangasana. So this is called tabletop position. So make sure your alignment is correct always. See, you have to check your hands should be aligned with the shoulders and knees should be aligned with the hips. Okay, from there, you have to go to the child pose. Start. Okay. Stay there. Check your hands. You are not changing your palms position or your knees position. From there, you have to crawl your body. Okay, start. Make sure your chest is inside your hands and knees should be down and hands should be over here. And your chin should be down. So it should be like chin down, chest down, knees down. Okay, now finally you have to slowly you have to crawl up and do hujangasana. Exactly. While doing hujangasana, your shoulder should be open. It should not clench. Okay, it should be open and your look should be on to the roof. Okay, you have to stay there for 20 to 30 seconds. After completing the count, you have to go back to the child pose. One thing you have to keep in mind, while doing yoga, you have to count, you also have to count. Then only the breathing will be properly done. Next we are going to do Navasana or board pose. This is a very effective exercise to reduce your tummy. So I'll show you how to do it. First you have to lie down. Your hands and legs should be stretched. Hands should be stretched towards the back side and legs should be forward. And make sure feet is also stretched. Always keep one thing in mind. While doing yoga, your legs should always be stretched. And especially your feet should be stretched. It should not be like this. It should be stretched, one straight line. And make sure your uh, knees are locked. Okay, so when I say up, she has to come together with her hands and legs. Okay. At the same time, her hands and legs should be up together. And you have to balance with your hip. This is the bit advanced level. You have to stay this in this position for 20 to 30 seconds. For more effectiveness, you have to hold there for one minute. Really, it is an amazing exercise to reduce your tummy. Next, we are going to show the beginner level of Navasana or ball pose. First, you have to sit straight and legs should also be stretched and knee should be locked and again feet should be stretched. Should not place your feet like this, it should be stretched. And you have to slightly bend towards back side and now you have to come up together with your hands and legs. Now hands and legs should be up simultaneously and you have to stay there for 20 to 30 seconds. It should be really effective if you are holding there for one minute. So after holding the count, you can relax. And people who are really having difficulty, people who are a little bit fatter, you can do one thing. You can switch your sides of legs. You can take your one leg up, hold there for some time, and you can switch your to the other leg. And finally, you will be able to do both legs up. Relax and come up. Next, we are going to do 90, 60, 30 degree poses for reducing the tummy. For that, you have to lie down and you have to keep your hands behind your hips and then you have to trace your legs towards the 90 degree and you have to hold there for 20 to 30 seconds. Then shift towards the 60 degree and hold there for 20 to 30 seconds. And finally, towards the 30 degree and you have to hold there for 20 to 30 seconds. 
and then you have to relax. Next we are going to do is Falakasana or Plank Pose. So today we will show you how to do the low plank pose. For doing the Falakasana or low plank pose, you have to lie down on your stomach first. So make sure your alignment is correct. Always you have to keep one thing in mind. Whenever you are doing exercise, whether it is yoga or other aerobic exercise, your alignment always should be correct. If your posture or alignment is wrong, there would be no effect. So first, for doing the Falakasana, you have to lie down on your stomach and you have to check your hand should be closer to your body. And slowly you have to come up. Make sure your elbows are aligned with the shoulders. And your palms should be facing down onto the ground. And you have to tuck your toes. Then you have to lift your knees up and stay in low plank or falakasana. Head down. Head down. Okay, so this should be the plank pose, low plank pose or falakasana. While doing this, you have to keep one thing in mind. You should not arch your back or lift your back up. You will get back pain. So if you're doing this pose properly, if you're having back pain, it will be fine. And also it will correct your posture. This is another very effective pose to reduce your tummy as well as it will tone your ab muscles. And finally, you can relax. These asanas we have done today, you have to repeat minimum three sets and also you can repeat it in daily or in the alternate days. If you're doing minimum for three sets or more than that, it would be very effective. You should do it daily to see the proper result or else in the alternate days. So hope you all have liked our asanas and see you in the next episode. Thank you. Janangal Koppam, Vartha Koppam, Nanmayodopam. NTV UAE to the world.